Hello, we're actually in Perth, in Perth, Western Australia, as, our, as part of our uh, Perth Meet the Author Live series. And I'm sitting here with the lovely Sarah Foster. Uh, Sarah, this is her first book that we're talking about at the moment called All That Is Lost Between Us. About it. Number five. <laughs> it's your fifth <laughs> no, book. No, number four, sorry. Five, sorry. Oh my God, there you go. <laughs> well, I've only come across Sarah with this book. Um, were the four books published here in Australia yes, as well? Yes. So, oh my God. But there's been a gap. There's yeah. been a gap. Yeah. So as you can see, um, she does call herself a Perth writer, although she's got a very English accent. She's been here for some time. Now, for those of you that are jo just joining us, we're chatting with Sarah Foster, and this is her, what number book? This is my fourth book. This is her fourth <laughs> book, um, and it's a, it's a fabulous book, and I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm going to get Sarah Foster to tell you about it right now. Sarah, over to you. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Um, hello, Better Reading readers and community. It's um, great to be here today talking to you. So my book, All That Is Lost Between Us, is about a 17-year-old girl called Georgia who has been keeping a very dark secret from her family for a few months now. Um, it's really weighing on her mind and she really wants to tell her best friend Sophia about it and she plans to do so at the start of the book. But before they can have this chat, uh, they're both involved in a hit and run which leaves Sophia fighting um, for, well, quite severely injured and Georgia has no one to talk to anymore. At the same time, she's got a massive race in 48 hours because she's a fell runner, um, which is a term that's specific to a certain type of running where you go up and down fells. This book is set in the Lake District, so it's very appropriate for that. So this race is coming up really fast, and she is trying to prepare for that, but traumatized by not only the accident, but her secret. Now, then the book goes into the rest of her family who are desperately trying to help her. So it's told from four points of view. We've got Georgia and her mother Anya, her father Callum and her brother Zach. And these guys all gradually get drawn into what is going on with Georgia until we reach our explosive finale. <laughs> Very explosive finale. <laughs> now we're chatting, for those of you who have just joined us, we're chatting with Sarah Foster. I'm Cheryl Arkell. This is Better Reading. Now, if you'd like to ask a question or make a comment uh, through Facebook Live comments, please do. Just type in a comment or a question and, and we'll, um, we'll try to deal with it. Now, it is Sarah's fourth book. Uh, it's suspense. What's the genre? Would you say that it's a crime thriller? This one's not so strongly crime. It's more psychological suspense is what I tend to call it. Yeah, Because right. it's not really driven by a who done it more yeah. than a what on earth is going on. <laughs> yeah, what is happening here. That's right, yeah. But it's yeah. kind of that Gone Girl suspense, yes, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah. So if you liked Gone Girl, you will absolutely love All That Is Lost Between Us by Sarah Foster. Okay, Sarah, so it's your fourth book. It's set in England. However, you're calling yourself a Western Australian. Yes, well, actually, just talking to you now, I've realised that I've lived in Perth longer than anywhere else I've ever lived in my life, so <laughs> I'm taking that title. <laughs> so you're a native. Yes. What brought you to Western Australia? Basically, my husband and I moved together about 12 years ago, and we just love the lifestyle here. There's everything you could want if you're a scuba diver or a bushwalker. Um, since we had our children, we don't do quite as much. That was just a bit of a shame, but... Yeah, we, we just love it here. It's fantastic. It is absolutely beautiful. I've only been here for a couple of days and I love it here. I might become a West, a West Australian. <laughs> now, Sharon has just asked, what age group is this book aimed at? I would say it's an adult book, wouldn't you? Yes, it's an adult book. Um, older teenage just might also get quite a lot out of it because okay. it does deal with social media and online issues, which I think is very important for teenagers today. So... Um, yeah. So it's a bit of a crossover? Yeah, it may be a crossover. Some people have called it crossover in reviews, but I've always thought of it as an adult book. Yeah, but, yeah. but yeah. Older teens. Yeah, Older maybe. teens, yeah. A bit yeah. of YA there. Yeah. Okay, now tell us, um, a lot of our um, Better Reading readers, they like to understand the writing process. They like, now you've got two young children, yes. um, and we've just been talking about them earlier. I mean, how easy is it to write full time? It's or how easy. difficult, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's what I should have said, um, how difficult is it to write full time? Yeah, well I have a part time situation going on at the moment but I'm sneaking it into the cracks all the time so I work at weekends, I work a few days in the week um, but unconventional hours for sure. Um, it's a constant readjustment with young children as to what they need, what you need, how to fit it all in so it's ever changing but if you really want to do it 
that don't let it stop you. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Do you know, I have, I've come across um, a whole bunch of uh, lovely Western Australian writers in the last couple of days, and it's that tenaciousness and the determination to write and actually apply the craft and make it happen. And, you know, there's a big group of you here and you're doing really well and you're writing great books and it's fantastic. I'd have to say you're punching above your weight, wouldn't you? Yes, well, it would be nice to think so. <laughs> I was certainly trying. <laughs> well, you are. I think you're doing really well. Um, listen, so you're working on your fifth book now. I am, yes. Um, that's called The Hidden Hours. It'll be coming out in April next year. It's a bit more of a crime thriller, but it's still got all the family-driven suspense in there too, which I hope everyone will enjoy. It's about a woman called Arabella Lane, who is a publishing executive and goes to her Christmas party and is found dead in the Thames in London the next day. Ooh. And then the temp, who is a young Australian girl called Eleanor Brennan, um, she was the last person to see Arabella and she has no memory of a few hours during that night and needs to piece together what happened pretty fast because she's under suspicion. So. And when will we expect to read this book? That will be out April 2017. Okay, so if somebody's just asked, who's your publisher? Sharon has asked that. Um, Simon and Schuster are publishing, yeah. and wonderful Simon and Schuster are publishing not only The Hidden Hours next year, but all of my other books in small format as well. So between May and July next year, um, they'll all come out with beautiful new covers, which I'm so excited about. Well, there you go. Now, we've got a couple of comments here. Read it. Great story. Looking forward to reading it. You have captured my curiosity, says Claire. <laughs> Very intrigued and we'll check it out. Um, availability. Yes, it is available, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's still available. Yep, should be in all the bookstores, so please do. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, um, so the books are all set in England? No, they're a complete crossover. So um, ah, okay. the first one is set between England and Perth, second one in the UK third one all over the world, this one in England and the next one in London. So, yeah. Ah, okay. And when is there going to be a book set just in Western Australia? Yeah, that's a good question. My third book, Shallow Breath, was um, half of it maybe was set in Western Australia, but I definitely need to come back. In actual fact, the backstory of The Hidden Hours moves back to Western Australia as well. So. We shouldn't forget that. <laughs> okay, well, more comments. Charlene says, sounds wonderful. You've got a lot of engagement here. Uh, might be on the Christmas li uh, list, says uh, Sharon. Uh, Claire says, thank you. So it's all happening. Thank we you. are chatting <laughs> with the lovely Sarah Foster. Uh, we're talking about um, her book, her fourth book, All That Is Lost Between Us. Um, and she's got a forthcoming book coming out in April next year. So stay tuned. So. What can I say? Thank you so much for chatting with us. Continue with the good work and the writing, and I hope you get more time to write in the future. Uh, thank you so much, Sarah, for joining us. Thank you, Cheryl, and thank you so much, Better Reading viewers. <laughs>